So for the past six months, I've field tested the Zeiss SFL 10x40 binoculars on every outing I've done. This includes everything from elk hunts in Wyoming, Kodiak brown bears and moose in Alaska, multiple deer hunts, Audad in Texas, New Zealand red stag, all told over 120 days in the field and 15 different hunts. Let's show you what these SFLs, which stands for Smart Focus and Lightweight Binos, are all about. First off, they're extremely compact and lightweight with a magnesium housing. On my certified male scale, the binos alone only weigh one pound, 6.8 ounces, and they're 5.75 inches tall and 4.75 inches wide, making them a dream to carry. They come with roll-up eye cups, which I personally leave down when using even though I don't wear eyeglasses. This is a personal preference, but I like the viewing experience better like this. It comes with fold-down objective lens covers. They also come with regular eyepiece covers and an extra. The large focus wheel is well thought out in this center bridge design. It only takes 1.4 revolutions to get you from close focus point of just under five feet to infinity. It is fast and smooth, but extremely precise. And if you're wearing gloves, you will see no issues in adjustments. The diopter adjustment is on the right eye and was a bit stiff when I first got there, but has gotten very smooth with use. Now let's talk about the viewing experience with these Zeiss SFLs. This is where these things really shine. We'll give you the technical jargon first. The SFLs are equipped with new ultra high definition glass, field flattener, Lodutech and T-Star coatings. What does this mean for you, the end user? It means you're going to have extremely accurate color just as the eye sees. You also have sharp edge-to-edge -edge clarity, meaning you move your optics less when spotting and are more likely to pick up movement of an animal when you aren't moving. The coatings will allow for 90% light transmission, which means you can still see well after legal shooting light. They deliver full-size binocular performance in a much smaller package. Being successful in the field is what all of us want, and that is a direct correlation between the amount of time you spend looking for a trophy through your optics. This high quality glass is worth every penny because you will not feel the eye fatigue you experience with optics of lower quality, and at $1,800, these are a great value for what you get. Not only did I test these, I tested them against another leading brand. I purchased a set of Swarovski NL Pure 10x42s to compare them side by side. During our field testing, I had guides, outfitters, and clients with us, and they all got an opportunity to look through each one of these and give us their feedback. The Zeiss are 8.4 ounces lighter, making the half a pound, which is significant. Close focus to infinity is won by Zeiss as well. The Swarovski is almost two full revolutions to get there, whereas Zeiss is 1.4. Not a huge deal, but definitely a difference. The Swarovskis have a wider field of view showing 399 feet, whereas the Zeiss come in at 345 at 1,000 yards. The Zeiss's edge-to-edge -edge clarity was superior, so the added 54 feet might not be as much of a big deal, especially when you compare the size difference between the two. Ergonomics of the housing is a personal preference thing, and it appeared that the younger generations of 35 and below like the Swarovski design, and all the older generations like the straighter barrels of the Zeiss. Although both of these binos are rated as 10 power, it appears that the Swarovski feels more like a 10 and a half to an 11 power zoom, whereas the Zeiss are a true 10 power. That also played a role in the low light comparison as everyone who looked through them side by side beyond legal shooting light chose the Zeiss with 90% light transmission when Swarovski touts 91% with swirl vision. This is a huge win for Zeiss. The Zeiss SFLs are going to cost you right at $1,800 and the Swarovskis are going to be right at $3,369. These are both top of the line glass and I'm sure you won't be disappointed with either. But after testing them this long, I will assure you that there is not a $1,569 worth of difference. For difference in money saved, you can add a pair of truly compact SFL 30 binoculars. After all of our testing of the Zeiss SFL 10x40 binoculars, we determined that they're definitely compact, lightweight, and they have superior optical performance. And more importantly, when you buy a set, you're still gonna have some money to go hunting this fall.